I am not a curse. I am a blessing. You must believe you are a blessing. Don't get a job and simply because they said we don't know what kind of employee you are. No, I am a blessing. There is an advantage in your life by reason of Christ and his life and his word that dwells within you. Everywhere you go, you are a blessing. Do you believe that? When Jacob went to the house of Laban, he knew that he was a blessing. And when Laban began to multiply, everything began to multiply. Laban used divination to inquire and they told him it was on account of the presence of Jacob. So when Jacob wanted to leave, he exchanged his daughters to prolong his stay. That you are such a blessing that your boss in office will say from the day you stepped here, the only thing you should bring or your value, your physical, technical skill is not the only thing you should bring to an organization. You are the ark bearer. You are taking the ark the presence of God to that organization. As soon as you arrive, like the ark of God in the house of Obed-Edom, things begin to shift and change. May that be your testimony. Amen. Do you believe what I'm telling you? Get to a point where people long to see you come and visit them. They will even say you've not visited us in two weeks because the last time you came as you were going out it's as though you kept some souvenirs several things started coming doors opening great things happening to us my husband who was not serious with god started becoming serious studying the word going to church please come again there are people as you are living the same i don't know what you brought but as soon as you left police came as soon as you left, somebody hit a car somewhere and they came to say, who is the owner of this house? As soon as you left, I changed that negative atmosphere over you. I say it again, I changed that negative atmosphere over you. Shout, I am a blessing. Let the devil hear it, say, I am a blessing. Carry this mentality, I am a blessing. If someone meets you and says, what do you have to offer? Well, I may not have the technical skill, but there is one thing I have, the presence of God. And such as I have, it can be a gift to you. Listen, spiritual blessings are real gifts. They can be given. The Bible speaking about Abraham said he gave Isaac everything he had. But to all the sons that came from his concubines, he gave them gifts. He gave them physical gifts, but he put something on Isaac and said, go. Are we together now? So you can greet someone with a handshake. I made a covenant with God. You know, I've, I've said it and I say it with every sense of humility and responsibility. That nobody should have to see me twice to be blessed. If it is true that he lives within me. That I actually say good morning. No. I will go for a retreat. It's true. You just lean near somebody's shop to take a bottle of minerals. And as soon as you drop the empty bottle and leave. You left something there. Customers just begin to come and the person, what happened? If handkerchiefs and aprons can carry the presence and the power of God, then it means that an overflow is like is dripping like rain. Listen, this is the mentality I am giving you. If you carry the mentality of a needy and a beggar, one who is waiting for people to be, I'm not just talking in terms of uh, finances and the rest. No, you carry spiritual value. It shouldn't lead to pride, but there is a healthy confidence that you should have. You go for a job interview, in addition to your certificate, you carry the presence of God. Remember, these are the mysteries that grant us command. In the name of Jesus, beyond the job, thank you very much, sir. The Bible says if you go to a city and they receive you, it says let your peace remain. That means peace is, is you can distribute it. That man will return back home and the wife that is like Tom and Jerry, fighting up and down we say honey you are welcome home and he says tell me you are joking you left your peace a deposit of your peace 
What is suddenly happening? I think we should not fight in this house again. The man will call you and say, give that guy the job. The last one, the one I sent out in annoyance, bring him back. I have discerned that the Lord is with you. May that be your testimony. Yeah. There is nobody who is a believer in Christ. There is nobody who is connected to this vision who should be a cause. The moment people start complaining that your life is an inconvenience, go for a retreat. Lord, I am a blessing. I am not a curse. In the name of Jesus Christ, my friends cannot run away from me. If there is anything, any climate, any atmosphere that is not of God, I banish it out of my life. In the name of Jesus, I declare I am a blessing. You travel to Lagos, you travel abroad, you travel from Abuja. As you are walking out of this service, in the name of Jesus, I expect favor. Because I am in covenant with the elements of creation. By the power of the Holy Spirit, good happens to me all the time. Exceeding great and precious promises.